eDoctrina's free curriculum tools are rooted in many of today's educational best practices. Unit planning, lesson planning, and several curriculum map reports, including the scope and sequence of map, are completely customizable and available for all eDoctrina users. The unit planning section of eDoctrina allows users to collaborate with other educators within the district to create common learning units. The layout of this page is what users will see throughout the program with the easy insert button in the upper left hand corner when creating new items. Each unit plan also is able to be edited by those who created the item. Clicking the edit pencil will open the general layout of the unit plan so you can take a better look at the ease of use of this particular function. The general tab outlines the basic information regarding the unit such as grade level, subject, and the course of instruction. Everything in eDoctrina is standards based. Users can very easily select from our many standards banks in addition to the district being able to upload their own unique set of standards. Users can filter standards by subject, grade, and even keyword. The easy drag and drop functions allow users to easily link standards to both units and lesson plans. The additional functions of a unit plan are completely customizable by the district. You are seeing headings that say essential question, content, resources, those particular headings, there's 10 of them, are completely customizable by the district based on the district's planning outline. The Unwrapping Standards tool in eDoctrina is by far one of the most effective pieces of the planning process. This piece of the program allows users to take those complex and hard to understand standards and unwrap them or scaffold them into either plain English or student-friendly language. From this portion of the program, users can also print learning plans to allow students as well as the educators themselves to monitor their progress throughout a plan of instruction. In addition to unit plans, eDoctrina also has available the lesson planning function. The lesson planning function, based on the repetition of the program, allows users to create lesson plans in the very same way. One of the special functions of lesson planning allows users to create lessons based on a calendar view. This allows users to easily organize schedules and move lesson plans around based on, you know, heaven forbid, a snowstorm or something of those sorts. We are located here in Buffalo, New York. In addition to basic unit and lesson planning structures in eDoctrina, all educators do have access to other various planning reports, such as curriculum maps and scope and sequence maps. All of the curriculum planning tools in eDoctrina are completely free of cost and very user friendly. Assessment data reporting and the practice of data-driven decision-making have always been at the core of eDoctrina. Now, robust assessment building capabilities have also been added to the mix. Our assessment tools allow for the building of multiple types of assessments, including the creation of paper and pencil assessments. These quick and easy assessments can be built based off assessments the teachers have already been implementing during their instruction by simply setting up a basic answer key. Teachers can also choose to create the entire assessment in eDoctrina, including the creation of each assessment question. Teachers can even either copy and paste, retype questions, or pull from the many, many questions that live in eDoctrina's several question banks. If questions are created within an eDoctrina assessment, users can then easily post the assessment online for students to take either on an iPad, computer, or smartphone. To take a look at the building of assessments, we are going to look at the general structure. Again, just like the unit and lesson planning features of eDoctrina, each item always has the general information, such as the description, the year, the subject. You're seeing several of the online assessment settings. If teachers are, in fact, posting the assessment online, they're able to scramble questions, scramble answer choice, and also set online time limits. In terms of building questions within eDoctrina, 
The program allows the capabilities for users to set up all sorts of question types, including multiple choice, true false, fill in the blank, or teacher scored, also known as part two type questions. Users have the ability to create questions, include questions from question banks, in addition to creating new assessment questions. Because everything in eDoctrina is standards-based for reporting and instructional planning purposes, teachers can easily link standards to each assessment question. In this case, you're even seeing I can statements. Thinking back to the unit planning process, the program allows users to unwrap or scaffold standards into specific learning targets. The linking of an assessment to a unit plan allows a user to link not only the standard, but one particular piece of the standard to each assessment question. Talking a little bit about the question banks, users have the ability to search question banks within eDoctrina based on learning standard, subject, grade, and even keyword. Once a user identifies a question they'd like to include in the assessment, the easy drag and drop tool makes it very seamless for users to easily create assessments, checkpoints, progress monitoring quizzes, and, and many things like that. In addition to creating the basic paper, pencil, or online assessments, eDoctrina also has a flexible rubric tool, great for performance-based assessments, especially for those special areas teachers. Collecting data using eDoctrina has never been easier. Teachers and educators can decide whether they want to collect data using answer sheets of all different shapes and sizes, by assigning assessments online for students to take, by entering student responses directly into the system while observing or conferencing with students, or even taking advantage of our new document camera scanning using any old document camera or even an iPad. Also, don't forget that it is very easy to import assessment data from things like state assessments or other assessments that were not administered using eDoctrina. The teacher dashboard is the place that facilitates all of this data collection. Teachers use the filters to simply select the students they are working with, as well as the assessments they want to collect data for. eDoctrina has unparalleled flexibility with the answer sheets that can support any kind of paper assessment imaginable. There are several types of answer sheets, such as the 100-point answer sheet. This is an example of the 100-point answer sheet where users can grade assessment items up to 100 points apiece. We also have other types of answer sheets that can be accommodated to match the specific need or testing modifications for students with special needs or disabilities. We also have answer sheets that are customized to match um, popular ELA models such as Fontes and Pinnell and 6 plus 1 traits of writing. Don't forget, we also have our Flex Rubric tool that even allows teachers to create their own rubric scored answer sheet which is a perfect solution for those giving writing or performance-based assessments. In addition to using paper, pencil, answer sheets, teachers also can post online assessments as well as enter scores directly into eDoctrina using our newest Teacher Completed tool. This Teacher Completed tool allows a perfect way to conference with students or enter data directly into the system while observing them. Teachers can enter student responses as well as document any notes or information that would help future instructional decisions for each student. Again, looking at the teacher dashboard, teachers have a lot of flexibility in terms of how they're choosing to collect data in eDoctrina. Using the new web-based answer sheets that can be scanned on either a document camera or using your iPad, data results can be available immediately for teachers and these answer sheets can be scanned easily without even leaving your classroom. Data reporting often referred to as the heart of eDoctrina, our data reports are limited only by educators' imaginations. While dozens of different reports reflecting the progress of any group or subgroup that a school or district currently monitors can be generated, the teacher dashboard is where teachers can easily access all of the data collected. Looking at the teacher dashboard, there's three simple steps a teacher needs to follow 
to pull data reports on students. Step one is to use the filters to select both the students and the assessment the educator would like to pull data for. The next step is to choose one of our many data reports that they would like to pull for information regarding the students. Among our data reports, you're seeing the individual student report, class summary, item analysis, class comparison, student standard report, as well as several others. The individual student report comes in many different formats, giving teachers the flexibility to pull individual reports by student, by standard, to really target areas of instruction that students are doing well in and also struggling. Among the most popular of the individual student reports is the individual student report that lists standard statistics. As shown, you can see for Tabitha, it's giving a nice quick overview on how Tabitha did on each question, showing each standard that was linked to the question, whether the student got it right or wrong, in addition to statistical information regarding each standard linked to the assessment. The next report, quite possibly our most popular, is the class summary report. The class summary report is a first quick glance at how students did at the particular class or grade level. Customizable color codes allowed for quick identification of students in need of extra assistance. Also included is a handy table that provides the data necessary for educators to make more measurable and accurate goals for themselves. Our item analysis report breaks down student performance by question and reveals information about what learning standards need to be stressed and possibly retaught and question quality. The class comparison report compares different classes and sections to each other and can be run to show results by assessment questions or by learning standards. The student standard report, perhaps the slickest of the bunch, this report allows users to see the skills individual students are mastering and or struggling with. With a click, results can be reordered to highlight those youths whose results fall below a specific benchmark and may be in need of intervention. This report can also be run over a length of time producing insight into long or short term trends. Great for intervention teachers. The RTI Progress Monitoring Report was built to run with multiple reports to show progress throughout a period of time. This report shows not only a graph comparing an individual student's data with both a class, target, or district target, but also gives statistical information regarding how the student performed on each standard linked to the multiple assessments. Lastly, the multiple assessment report is a nice report that can be pulled on multiple assessments and also includes the ability to break down the data reports by various demographic information defined by your student information system in addition to three customizable fields. What you've seen is just a quick glance at our many data reports. Our data reports are ever-evolving based on updates and enhancement requests from districts. Please note that various data reports can be run by district, school, and teacher level. As you can see in the short introductory video, eDoctrina is truly a one-stop shop. The program can help districts manage curriculum, allow them to progress monitor students using our assessment builder and easy data collection functions. It also allows districts to accommodate the needs of all students by modifying tests and the way in which data is collected. And most importantly, eDoctrina can help facilitate data-driven decision-making through the use of its many different forms of data reporting. For more information, please contact us today you can email us at info at edoctrina.org or call us at 1-888-FREE-FOR-YOU.